Hello YouTube. If you are waiting for the Android 6.0 Marshmallow for OnePlus One, uh, this is not an official version even though a developer from XDA developer named uh, Update Ing built a homemade, homemade Android 6.0 build for the OnePlus One. So you can try and the ROM is booting and it's working fine. So this is the XDA link for that ROM. Uh, I'll give all the links in the description below. Just go and download the ROM first. So you will get the download link down below. This is a KXE hard boot supported, so you can use it as a multi ROM also. So if you go, you can see all the FAQs here, questions and as answers. So first and first, go and download the ROM and G apps everything. So here is the latest build, and you can from here you can download the ROM and uh, you, you can download the gapps from this link you go and download the latest version and if you need the root access you go and download the super su also so you can download from here and then if you prefer on screen keyboard rather than the hardware keyboard you can download this enable navbar flashable also so i've downloaded all the four files now i'm going to copy all these files to my oneplus one as you can see here, I copied all four files. Uh, this is the ROM file, this is GApps file, and then uh, Super SE for routing the ROM. And uh, if you want to enable the hardware keys, you can use this flash also. So now I am going to restart my phone to recovery mode. I am using TW Update Recovery. If you didn't flash that one, I'll provide a link in the video description which will show you how to flash TWRP on your OnePlus One. So go and flash TWRP. And to enter into TWRP, you have to press volume down and power button at the same time. Press and hold them until this logo comes. Then release. And here you can see it's stored into TWRP. From here, you better take an Android backup of your current ROM because if something goes wrong, you can always restore it later. After that, click on wipe and then go to advanced wipe, then select Dalvik cache, system, data and then cache. Don't click the select the internal storage because if you select internal storage, it will remove all your files like uh, videos and photos your personal files so select others and then swipe to con wipe so after wiping go back to the main screen again from here and then click on install and then browse for the downloaded marshmallow files so I have stored in a folder called marshmallow so here you can see the folder and inside you can see all the files and First, go and select the ROM file, which is the AOSP Bacon ODA. So I'm going to select that one and then swipe to install. So it will start installing and it will take some time, so please be patient. So after flashing the ROM file, uh, go to the main screen and then re click on reboot and then reboot to recovery and then swipe next you need to flash the gapps file don't flash back to back files these files because it might cause boot loop so this time go to install and then this time choose the gapps file so gapps file and then flash now it started installing the Marshmallow Google Apps. So even this install will take some time. This Google App package contains the Google On Tap as well. So it also finished. Now click on Home and then click on Reboot and then Reboot Recovery. This time, if you need re root access in the Marshmallow ROM you can flash the Super SU. Click on install and then select the Super SU file. So it will root your 
wrong and if you need uh, on screen buttons rather than the hardware buttons you can flash this one also this enable navbar so this time I'll go and uh, flash the super SU okay so that one also done now to avoid any boot loops you can click on wipe Dalvi cache and then do it for that we go back reboot the system so the phone will boot and remember that the first boot will take some time so please be patient so the phone is loaded after some time click on next and then insert if it if you're in instant sim card you'll ask then if you want to connect to Wi-Fi you can connect that I'm skipping and then you can just type date and time you can provide the name information next so finally you will get into the latest Android Marshmallow on your OnePlus One. If you go to the settings menu, you can see about phone. You can see I'm running on Android 6.0, which is on and one my OnePlus One, and you can see other information kernel build number. So this is how you can install Android Marshmallow on your OnePlus One, and I'll do a review of this ROM in my next video. So go and check out the video description for the link and I hope you like this video that's it guys thanks for watching please subscribe for more